Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Normalization in Quantum Physics. So in quantum physics, a physical system, such as a particle or a collection of particles, is denoted by the ket psi, which can mathematically be represented by a column vector. Now, for this particular simple example, I'm going to consider a box that has sides of infinite potential and a particle, such as an electron, that is trapped inside of this box. The length of the box is L, and this is a one-dimensional box, so the particle can have a ground state wave function or a higher energy wave function, but regardless of the energy of the particle, the wave function must be equal to zero at the boundaries. Why? Because the probability of finding the particle is going to be equal to the modulus squared of the inner product of that particle state with itself. And one of the postulates in quantum mechanics and in physics is that total probability must be conserved and that the total probability has to be equal to 1. Meaning that when you make a measurement you have to find the particle somewhere inside of this box for this particular scenario, since the particle cannot tunnel or leave otherwise this system. In position representation, the state of this particle can be given for the wave function generally as A sine kn x where a is an amplitude for the wave function, and kn is the wave number for the particle. kn is given as n pi over the length l, where n is an integer corresponding to the energy of the particle. So the only thing we don't know is this amplitude a, but we do have a constraint, which is that the total probability must be equal to 1. So in this case, if we add up all the probabilities of the particle being in all of the positions, we can determine what this value A is. And we would do that by integrating the space-dependent wave function over all space. So we end up with a probability density function that we integrate over, set that equal to 1, and we solve for the amplitude. So in this case, we have 1 is equal to the integral over all space, which in this case is from 0 to length L, of the complex conjugate of my space-dependent wave function times the wave function, and it's integrated over x. When I plug in this analytic function for psi, and I perform the integral, I end up with 1 is equal to a squared times L over 2. Therefore, when we solve for a, we see that a is equal to the square root of 2 over the length L. So the point is, the larger the box or cavity in which my quantum particle exists, the smaller the amplitude for all the different wave functions that the particle can have, depending on its energy. And now, when I plug in this value for A, my wave function is now normalized. So when I sum up all the probabilities, I get a total probability equal to 1. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Normalization in Quantum Physics.